YouTube, what is up? It is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. Back with another video for you guys today, man. And it is not what my usual video today would be. Now, those of you who have been around the channel, you know that usually the day after I get a sneaker, I do my updated top 10. And this is the first sneaker of the year that I picked up so far. As much as I hate to say it, I do actually really, really like the sneaker. Can't wait to put it on foot. But this sneaker does not belong in my top 10 pickups of the year so far. So there will not be an updated top 10. Go, go watch my last one so you can see where everything stands. Nothing has changed as far as my top 10 is concerned. But now, let's get into the video. But before we get into the video, man, we are at 598 subscribers. Thank you all so much. I know I said the goal was to hit 600 by the end of next week. But, man, let's hit 600 before Monday. You know what I'm saying? It's Saturday. We're at 598. I know we could hit two subscribers by Monday. Let's do it. So if you guys are new here, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button man it really helps the goal is to hit a thousand by the end of the year we're flying through we're crushing it we flew through 500 i feel like we just hit 500 the other day thank you guys so much for those of you that have been joining the channel who've been commenting hit me up on instagram i really appreciate the love thank you all so much for the growth and whether you're new or not since you're here you might as well hit that like button definitely helps the channel it'll help the channel grow helps with algorithms helps to get shown to new people also man make sure that you comment on the video too why not put a little comment on there tell me how you feel about particularly this video but just the channel in general let me know and then last but not least you get a lot of information posted first on my instagram at anonymous sneaker hey you get a lot of things posted there first posted about both of these shoes that um i'm comparing today i actually put a poll up on my instagram as to which one you guys like more but um enough of that that's out of the way let's get into this video man really really quick i'm going to be comparing the animal instinct jordan 3 2.0 to the animal instinct jordan 3 1.0 right i don't know why it was so hard for me to just pick up the 1.0 but i'm gonna be comparing these two shoes right here bang little thumbnail pick um sorry not sorry but uh my thumbnails has been a little crazy lately usually i don't pause intentionally in the video to get a thumbnail i just make the video go through screenshot do a little edit there but I had to do an intentional pause there i wanted to make sure i got both of them but that's enough talking man got that out of the way let's get into the comparison of these two right here all right, YouTube, so I have both of the pairs, both the 1.0 and the 2.0 sitting right here in front of me. What I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna do this in a point system way because I still can't figure out which one I think I like the most or which one is the better shoe. Um, but I'm gonna go through and look at some similarities and differences real quick. Just first of all, for quick um, similarities, there's a couple similarities. One, obviously, is that we both have red Jumpmans here. Difference being that this is a stitch jump man, a pretty thick stitch jump man, similar to the UNC3, and this one is pressed into the tongue. Um, also, we do have sail midsoles on both of these, as you can see here. Sail midsole, sail midsole. The difference being the gum bottom and the fully sail bottom with the pods there. Um, we also, on the lower eyelets on both shoes, do have red outlining the lower eyelets right there um and the problem with so 250 dollars versus i think 225 i can't really remember there are a couple more factory flaws um on the 1.0 than there are with the 2.0 at least in the pairs that i have so that's one point for the 2.0 right now as you can see you got some glue stains down here i don't know if that'll show up on the camera but you got a couple glue stains down there um but yeah so right now we do have one point for the 2.0 over the 1.0. Now, um, let's just get into the differences all the way around the shoe. So if we start at the front, I'm gonna call this section the front elephant print pattern because on the regular three, you have obviously the elephant print here. On the front elephant print pattern on the 2.0, we have this nice Python, imitation Python skin. It actually feels really nice to the touch. Um, that was one of the best parts of getting this shoe in hand is just being able to feel everything versus obviously just seeing pictures of it and um this little piece right here makes the sneaker a lot more cohesive to me it'd be if this was black or even if it was the same as what we got on the heel there it wouldn't um i don't think the sneaker would come together as well i think the colors and the materials that they chose everywhere are perfect um so now let's look at that same section on the 1.0 we have this cheetah or leopard skin either this is cheetah and this is leopard or this is leopard and this is cheetah one or the other but um we do have that 
a little pattern, that little fur going all the way around there. Once again, it's not real, it's bovine fur, and then it's painted into that pattern, but still looks really nice. And as you can see, difference wise, um, as far as cut, we do get the 2020 cut here, and we have the 2019 and before cut here. Also, at the tongues, you can see the differences in cut. You could kind of see the sock liner behind there. It is black, so it's harder to see. And the sock liner is completely hidden on the 2.0. But when we look at the front elephant print section, I got to give the up to the 2.0. So the score is now 2 to 0 with the 2.0 winning over the 1.0 right now. Now let's just go, before we get to anything else, let's go because I did talk about similarities, the actual sole. So I'm gonna combine the sole and outsole here. And this one is gonna be the first point for the 1.0. I personally, now the gum bottom, a gum bottom would not look good on these, don't get me wrong. Um, and it is something different to see a Jordan 3 where the midsole and the outsole match. That's not something we see very often. We usually get some type of color change when we get to the outsole. But I just personally love gum bottoms. You know what I'm saying? The shoe is gonna hold up better as far as its looks are concerned. So that definitely is a point for the 1.0 right here. Um, and you do have the black pot and the white pot at the bottom. Um, so now the score is officially two to one. Which shoe is better? Now let's go to the heel. The heel elephant print pattern. Now usually on the Jordan 3, you wouldn't have to differentiate the toe to the heel elephant print, but we do get different elephant prints on both of these. Now this is gonna be a tough point to give out. Now if you look at the 2.0, we do have a realistic elephant print. So I would call this a realistic elephant print and I would call what we get on something like this more of a cartoon elephant print. Like elephants don't really look like that. This is a lot more realistic for an elephant print pattern. Um, so I do really, really like that touch of the sneaker right there, man. Um, really love how that looks, how that came out on the sneaker. Once again, the two different um, elephant print areas, how they, how they match up, I think is really, really dope. Um, so yeah, that's really dope right there. We'll leave that right there before I give out the official point. And then also, if you look at the 2.0, now the 2.0, we get a zebra print on the heel elephant pat print. And um, once again, really dope. Now, I think what this heel elephant print does for the shoe is the same thing that the toe elephant print on the 2.0 does. Um, as far as just making the shoe more cohesive, I feel like if you tried to make this some type of spotted print or even made it a tiger print, just color wise, it would have been too much. It would have made the shoe too boring, but this heel definitely gives it some new pop. Um, and this is a tough point to give out. Um, I think I'm, the, the, heel, the heel patterns on both of these are so strong. I think I'm gonna have to give both of them a point and just make the score three to two. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do is three to two. We still got the 2.0 in the league. I'm gonna give both of them a point here because they did both do really good jobs on the heel print. Now, speaking of heels, let's go to the actual heel tabs. So if we look at the back of the shoe. Now, those of you that have been around probably already know which one I'm going to give this to just because um, I really kind of ended up liking this heel tab, but this one is just something completely different. So at first I didn't like this heel tab at all because it didn't fully match the rest of the shoe. But now the more that I look at it, it definitely does go with the rest of the shoe really well. Um, you do get your Jumpman Air. I personally think they're both better with a Jumpman Air than a Nike Air, since it's so far away from an OG, um, from anything we've seen since it's so much different. I think the Jumpman does a great job there. Do get, it is slightly translucent as you can see some of the print through the top of it. Um, but if we look at the 2.0, we get a yellow one right here, fully not translucent. And you got that little light uh, leather situation laid over it. Now I gotta go, this is tough, but I gotta go with the 2.0 on the heel tab of this one just because um, it adds so much more pop to this shoe than the heel tab on this one adds pop just because we see this color emulated throughout the rest of the shoe on the 1.0. Here we only really other only see that yellow on the eyelet right here. So. This heel tab on the 2.0 takes it, making the score four to two right now. Really, really dope. Once again, this was a hard point to give out, but I definitely like how this look pops and what it does for the sneaker. Now, since we are at the back of the shoe, I am gonna just stick with something that you see on the back of the shoe and I'm gonna do the actual 
tongue um sock liner slash tongue design now they both have full satin sock liners which is really nice gives the shoe a nice uh cool feel when it's on foot but i do have to go with the 2.0 again and that's only because of they both do say on the back animal instinct now on the 1.0 you get the upside down instinct so if you look at it here you get instinct and then you would have the other shoe animal instinct now on the 2.0 we get let me take the shoe tree out get the laces out of the way on the 2.0 we do get the right side up instinct it's in a different font and we do get i don't know if you guys can see that but we do get an instinct 2 um, roman numeral 2 right there which is really cool and the red just pops different and now this is the right shoe and since it's right side up you would get animal on the left one and then instinct here just really really dope touch um really like how they added the two and didn't just say animal instinct again um so i have to give that one to the two again making the score five to two the animal instinct two is slowly slowly starting to run away with it um now i would go and talk about the laces but um so these obviously aren't the og laces with the animal instinct 1.0 they came with black laces and they did not come with um different laces i actually use these from the red cement threes these laces so i'm not gonna count the laces as a point for either one just because it's not fair i mean we do get two uh replacement laces with the animal instinct three but me personally i'm looking for a green lace to match the ankle collar uh because i think it'll just be more green is more reptilian to me than a bright yellow or a bright red so hopefully i could find a green lace that'll match that and see what that'll look like on there um and once again these didn't come with laces so i'm not gonna assign a point there but speaking of ankle collars let's look at the ankle collar right here now once again man what do you guys think when we look ankle collar i'm talking right here and right here for me personally now i have to wait until i get those green laces but i want to go with this green right here i want to go with the 2.0 and the reason why i want to go with the 2.0 is when you look at the 1.0 you got, I mean, it could be cheetah and leopard, but they're pretty similar from the toe elephant print to the heel or to the heel collar. And then here you don't have that green anywhere else on the shoe. It just gives you something completely different, similar to the yellow heel tab. You don't have that anywhere else on the shoe. Gives you something 100% completely different. So I got to go with the 2.0 right there. The score is six to two. But another spot where the 1.0 is getting ready to gain a point is if we look at the eyelets on the side of the shoe. So I'm just going to hold it like this so we can see both of them. Is that going to work? No, nah, it's not going to work. Um, but I'm talking about this area right here. Got to give it to the 1.0. The tiger print, really, really dope right there. Um, and then you have the, the semi translucent actual plastic eyelets to stick out gives it a nice little shine nice little look with the tiger print right there um and i'm not even sure what skin this is really supposed to be but it's i mean it's nice it's a similar skin to what's on the tongue not sure what it's supposed to be but i just feel like for the theme of the shoe the 1.0 this area is definitely way better than that area on here now if we look at so what's the score now six to three now, if we look at the actual tongue, I have to take the 2.0 again, making it seven to three, just because, I mean, look at it, man. We got, I personally like the stitch jump man better than the press jump man. I like the hidden sock liner better than the revealed sock liner. And also I think for the theme of the shoe, I mentioned this in the first video with a stiffer material, like a leather versus something like a, like a fur, this makes more sense. It makes it more plush, um, having the sock liner exposed, but I like the, the rigidity of having the hidden sock liner on here, plus the stitch jump man. Looks really, really nice. Gotta go with the jump man there. Like I said, I think that makes the score eight to three. And then last but not least, really the biggest part of the shoe that I intentionally didn't talk about yet is the full upper of the shoe. So this whole area and this whole area. This is a tough one. Now, I was going to take the 1.0 because i do really like the fur it's something different i mean yes this is different with the animal print but i mean you get animal prints on a bunch of different shoes like even if i grab just the fact that i could put a, a leather or sorry a snake skin you get snake skins or animal skins like that gator skins on different types of shoes you could nike id it you could get them on i got them on a pair of kamikazes bunch of different shoes you don't get the fur patterns that often but i am a sucker for ostrich skin 
and they put ostrich skin on here just around the mud guard just enough i think if the whole upper was ostrich skin it would look gross i'm happy that they use that black gator up there uh, but the ostrich on the mud guard once again different touch once again if you look here there's no difference between the upper and the mud guard other than just the difference the difference in direction that the fur is laid gotta go with the 2.0 here again now that's nine to three but what's crazy is is an entire shoe is a statement shoe so we went through each part of the shoe right is a statement shoe and i'll say this is worth two points just because you got to look at the shoe as a whole i gotta go with the 1.0 still over the 2.0 which will get it up to five points it'll still only be what nine to five i think is the score if i'm correct but just as a whole shoe as a statement piece once again i did change the the laces so these aren't og laces with it but just as an entire statement the whole storytelling aspect of the whole shoe i do think that the 1.0 does do a better job than the 2.0 even though i do think the 2.0 will be more wearable just because it's not for the colors are a little bit more neutral but i gotta go with this shoe overall let me know what you guys think in the comments which one you think is better any other differences that you notice um one thing to point out is the og laces that come on these are regular cotton laces just like i have on here that come in the 1.0 2.0 you get a wax lace um some people that makes a difference for me like i said i plan on taking these out anyway um but let me know down in the comments what you guys think let's get back to finish the video off all right youtube so you got to see the comparison of these two shoes right here the animal instinct 1.0 and the animal instinct 2.0 the 2.0 got a lot more points but like i said i think cohesively is a full shoe is a full project and storytelling is concerned i think i gotta go with the 1.0 versus the 2.0 even though i do think the 2.0 is a more wearable shoe and i will get more wears out of it i just think that this sneaker tells better story it's more cohesively put together and especially after i put the red laces in there just gives it some nice pop um i don't know let me know what you guys think down below in the comments do you guys agree with how i graded it in the um in the comparison i know the video did go a little longer than i wanted to but there was just a lot of things that i wanted to touch on and on both shoes um that make both shoes great honestly i think they're both great shoes i think they're both slept on i think four or five years from now they're gonna be a shoe you're gonna say man i wish i had those i can't wait for them to retro or for them to make another version of them um i'm not sure as to any information about an animal instinct 3.0 i don't know where they would go from here unless they put like feathers on the shoe or something crazy but that is it for this one, man. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I am the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game, man. If you guys are new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Join the channel. Goal is to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. Wow, I'm just stuttering through all of my words. Goal is to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. 600 by Monday, man. I know we can hit 600 by Monday. We're at 598 right now. Um, and then let's see if for the whole month of July, if we could hit that 700 mark by the end of July. That would be absolutely insane. But that is it for this one, man. Also, since you made it this far in the video, if you didn't hit the like button already, you might as well go smash that thing. Um, it's right there. Hit the little blue button with the thumbs up. Hit it as likes to the channel help with the algorithm help find new people help more people come to the channel so they can join and hit that red button which is what's important as well and then last but not least follow my instagram at anonymous sneakerhead you get a lot of information there first like i said i posted about these and which one people like more on my story already today by the time you're seeing this but that is it for this video guys i am the most mysterious sneaker youtuber in the game and as always it's all about the sneakers Thank you.